Welcome to SQL Server Analysis Services 118 Standard Actions. If you have not yet seen the 116 video, the action introduction basically, please watch that first. I introduce what actions are in general, talk about the different types. Then in this video I'm going to focus on standard actions, and there are actually many different types of standard actions, and I'll focus specifically on the URL action. But just one slide here and then I'll get into the demonstration. A standard action can be one of several types, as I mentioned, and you notice that uh, data set and row set are the first ones there. Basically, these return data. The data set returns it in a multidimensional format, a cell set, if you will, and the row set can be an MDX expression or DMX or SQL, but it returns it as a flattened row set, just a two-dimensional rows and columns format. Proprietary is for custom applications. You might be writing your own custom app and need to interact with it in some way. Statement, is that again is going to be an MDX, a DMX, or a SQL statement, but it, it doesn't necessarily return any data. So it could be uh, an insert, an update, or a delete. It could be a drop or, or add. or it, it could be many different things, a DDL type statement, uh, some kind of uh, command statement. So that just is going to generate something and do something for us, but we don't necessarily know uh, or we won't see any data return from that. The URL is probably the most common by far of the standard actions, and it basically builds a URL and passes that to a browser. What's really nice about that is that you can take your current position, you can take values of the various dimensions and pass those along as parameters. So when you, uh, look, when you look at reporting actions, they're actually a specialized kind of URL action. It just builds those parameters for you correctly. Now, interestingly enough, there are two other types of standard actions, HTML and command line. Those are both specified in the spec, but they don't show up as options in the UI. Don't really know why, um, but uh, there, there it is. So if you do need to do that, you can build the action in the UI and then later edit the XML and change the type to HTML or command line. HTML actually just builds HTML, which you could save and open in a browser if you wanted, and then the command line can actually kick off anything from the command prompt, any kind of external program. But let's get into BI Dev Studio and take a look at building a URL standard action. So here in BI Dev Studio, I've created a simple sales cube off the AdventureWorks cube. Uh, and it just contains two measure groups and just a few of the measures themselves and a few of the dimensions. And I'm going to go to the Actions tab here. And I've already defined one type of action, which is a drill through, which was the ever exciting 117 video. But what I want to do now is a standard action. And that is this first button that just says New Action. So when I click on that, the first thing, of course, that it wants is a name. And what I'm going to do is actually build the demonstration standard action that comes with AdventureWorks, which uses Microsoft, uh, MSN's mapping uh, application on the web to map out whatever city the person happens to have selected. So I'm going to call this the uh, city map. And the next thing is it wants to know what are you targeting. Remember that all actions have to have a target. And in this case, I have a number of options. It can be uh, the members of an attribute, it can be the members of a dimension or a hierarchy or a level, or it can actually be the cells, the whole cube, the uh, level, uh, or the level members. Now what I actually want in this case is that I want attribute members. And so once it knows the type of object that I'm targeting, it needs to know the object that I'm actually targeting. So in this case, I'm going to choose something in customer. If I open this up, then one of the options here is the city. So I'll target the city attribute inside of customer. Now, the condition here, I could specify uh, something that narrows this down to say, under certain conditions, don't do this particular region. You know, I could say, don't do this uh, state or province, don't do this country. But uh, I want to leave that wide open here, so I'll leave it as it is. Now I need to specify what type of standard action is this. And again, 
data set, row set, statement, proprietary URL. There are two others, the, the, the HTML and the command line that aren't shown here. But URL is in fact what I want. So this is going to build a string for me that needs to end up being a valid URL. So I'm going to just paste in a lot of code here and then I'll walk through and explain the various pieces of it. I'm sure you caught all that. So let's take a look. Remember it's a string so it has double quotes around it and I just start off with a standard HTTP. I'm calling maps.msn.com and then home.aspx and now it's asking for what place do I want to map. So I concatenate now onto that the geography and I don't want geography in this case I want customer dot city and then I want the current member name. So whatever they happen to be viewing, I want the city for that member. I want the state province for that current member. And I want the country. Now if I scroll down, notice they're just appending that onto the URL string with a comma in between. So it's going to be city comma state province comma country and then it's going to append on some additional detail next it's going to append on the region so this is on the url place is going to be city comma state or, or province comma country and then region is going to be and this is just the way their website works when the country is Australia, it returns a three. And I'll just replace customer in all of these here. When the country is Canada or United States, it returns a zero. Otherwise, it returns a one. And there could be more country codes as well, but this will work fine for a simple example. And it mentions down here what some of those are. So that's all it's going to do is concatenate on the city, state, province, and country, and then a region number for that. So at this point, I could go ahead and run this, but I want to add a couple of extra things to it. Now, the invocation, this is a hint to the client application. It does not control how the, application, how the action is actually run here. The application, again, is something for custom applications or the client application to tell it what application should run that particular attribute or that particular action. Description is an optional description, and then caption is how it will display. And if I don't set that, it will just show up as city map. However, I have the ability to change the caption dynamically depending on what city they've clicked on. So. What I'm going to do is paste in a caption here. Oops. Okay, perhaps not. Let's try that again. There we go. And now the caption is going to say view map for, and now notice I'm concatenating another string here. I'm saying customer.city.currentmember.member caption plus, and then just an ellipse, three, three dots. Because I am concatenating and pulling a value out of the cube for where I am, I have to set the caption as MDX property to true. And so that will then go through uh, and should perform for me properly. So what I'll do is deploy the cube and then we'll go take a look at this. So now that the cube has deployed, I'll go to the browser and I'll clear everything out and reconnect. And so remember that the target here was the city level in the customer dimension. So it doesn't actually matter if I have a measure showing or not. I'll just grab the customer geography here, bring it over. And of course I have Australia and New South Wales. And there is a city, for example, called Darlinghurst. And if I right click on it, there is that action, view map for, and then it appends on the name of that particular attribute, Darlinghurst, and then adds the ellipsis, the three dots after it. If I click on another city, you'll see, of course, it has the city name here, Malabar. So let's go back to Darlinghurst for a moment. Where is Darlinghurst? Well, if you don't know, then we'll kick off this action and notice the URL string. Now, it's going to change in a moment. 
Okay, actually, it's not going to change because I forgot to enable the network connection to the virtual machine, but notice how it's added all that information onto it. Darlinghurst, New South Wales, Australia, and the region equals three. Let me enable the um, network connection, and you'll see this working. Okay, a nearly fascinating demo, but I've now enabled the network or the uh, network card here. So let's right click and view map for Darlinghurst. And now notice, of course, the URL changes once that's done. Don't really care about activating Windows. Um, and notice that here is Darlinghurst showing up, and it is a suburb of Sydney. Okay, good. Windows was activated. That's great news. And I could then take a look at that uh, in additional details. Now, I'll close this very quickly. We'll just open up something on South Australia. We'll go to Perth, for example. View map for Perth. Same thing. Passes the URL. It's going to change it here in a moment. Uh, and it can't find Perth for whatever reason in South Australia. So I guess Perth has moved somewhere. Uh, we'll look for Finden, hopefully, and find that. Good. So here is Finden showing up right here under Seton. So that is the example of an action. And the point of this is, okay, great, it showed a map, not very exciting. But think about all of the applications in your organization that you can call up using a URL. So I could, with this city map action, or with, with a URL action, I could pass parameters to any application and just append those build a URL string and uh, pull up some existing data. For example, if you deal with uh, chemicals of any sort, you could pull up the material safety data sheet that matches whatever chemical they happen to right click on and view. Uh, I've known customers who uh, can go down and be looking at an individual customer and right click and launch into their CRM system with that customer already showing. So there are a lot of things that you can do with these URL actions and they're very powerful. Thank you.